Way. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was a little bit of anticipation there uh, as as we we didn't know if it was going to appear on the camera correctly, and then it reflected the light dramatically there. Yeah, that, that was all on purpose. <laughs> It's in 4D, this one. It's coming right yeah. out of the screen at you. Coming right at you. Really I'm gonna, interactive. I'm going to keep that in <laughs> um, I'm so Hello. And I'm Eddie. Hello. Yes, there he is. And we are back with another episode of The Tat. And today I have brought you the Crystal Maze. A whole maze in a box. Look at that. Yeah. And not a bit of crystal to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's the board game version. So, Eddie, before we get any further into it, what are your memories of the Crystal Maze? Um, I've never actually heard of the Crystal Maze. No, I'm joking. I definitely have. <laughs> I used to love it. It's it was really intense. I think as a kid to watch it, and then you know you've got the countdown timer, and you've got these adults, and they're you know, they're doing these activities, and you're thinking. Yeah, they might actually get stuck in there. Yeah. And then it's it was quite a terrifying concept. They're just going to be left in the room. And I was thinking as a kid, they're going to be left in this room on their own in the maze. People are going to forget about them. <laughs> you know, they're not getting out. And I'm thinking, oh my god, this is actually quite scary. But it, it's so much fun. And obviously, the collecting the crystals and you know the, the big thing at the end is pretty cool. It's yeah, a great oh, the concept. Bottom, yeah, I like the idea that people get to choose, you know, nominate who's going to go in as well based on what how well they're going to do for the different tasks yeah. you know I, I, it gave the whole rest of the show a purpose for that yeah, so yeah. I love the dark twist you have put on it yeah as well. <laughs> so you could buy them out of a crystal otherwise they will die they will, yeah, they this will is, be lost to this ever. is no longer a game this yeah. is real life and their lives are in your hand it's sore for kids I should point out are you sore <laughs> for kids it's the crystal maze I love that um, do I play a board game so um, <laughs> yeah, there you go yeah. so I love the fact that this is actually spent to four. Like you, you, it was actually five time zones, but like they added a fifth one. Mm. Uh, right, but you can go back to like there's a futuristic one, there's an Aztec one, uh, industrial, and I think there was an aquatic, and I think it was also changed to something else. Uh, I can't remember medieval maybe. Um, unless I already said that. Um, and I like the fact that not only do they get left behind in your idea of it, but they are trapped in time. There you go. Well. A very active imagination. The as good a kid, thing is, see, if so. they get trapped in the future, maybe there is hope. We could probably catch up to them, yeah. <laughs> you know. Or have you seen the film The Langoliers? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah Stephen it, King. You don't want to be in their time. Yeah, no, that's don't want really to be one true. Second, even one second ahead is, is going that was, that was a That was a pocket of time, right? Yeah, I think there's the guy on the, the plane or something, they lapse and they're, they're I think, one second behind. That's and right. Then they just monsters come and eat time, you know. Yeah, eat, that's right. They consume. It's the just time. science. I don't it's want crazy. to tell you so. To so be this, is, <laughs> this is the Crystal Maze board game. So yeah, the concept was you had a, a very dramatic host, yeah, who would take a team of people around a uh, TV set, um, which was ultimately a maze, uh, and they would play physical, mental, or skill-based yeah. challenges uh, to a time limit. If they passed, they got a crystal. If they failed, they were stuck in the room unless they were bought out with another crystal. Yeah. How many crystals you have by the end game, which is a big dome, uh, which is in the shape of a crystal, uh, gave you more time in the dome. And what the dome was, it, uh, loads of tickets of silver and gold mm. would burst into the air like a big, um, what, do you, what do you call that, kind of ventilation shaft yeah. kind of thing would open up like a big fan. And it would blow them all up in the air. And the more of the gold you got compared to the silver the more cash you want at the end of the game. And it was a team-based thing. Um, and this, for two or more players, so Ooh. I cannot play it on my own, unfortunately. Um, but you're, you are age-appropriate. I am age-appropriate, yes. 10 to adult. You know what that is? That's inclusive. <laughs> if you look at the board, uh, if you look at the box of Lego, it's ages 5 to 99. Yeah. What that means is, if you're a you know, centurion, probably not the right word, <laughs> if you get your telegram from the Queen, you're not allowed to play Lego anymore. So, <laughs> this is, I reckon, a direct response to that. Like, you know what? We like the oldies. Come and join us for Crystal Maze. Maybe don't do any lot big physical activities. Oh, I, love, but, you know. I love the idea of turning 100 and suddenly you get a letter <laughs> yeah. saying, you are now Roman. <laughs> it's part of the terms, you know. <laughs> yeah, imagine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you get your shield and your helmet all delivered at the same time. <laughs> Loads of old men in old the old yeah. Roman uniforms standing around getting a letter from the Queen. I should have done this before I opened it up, but um Oh, this is brand new. The, uh, the, okay, so the reason I own this is because 
uh, we were going to do my a live yes, version we were, of the yeah. Crystal Maze, in which Monty, you might know Montgomery Smythe, one of my characters, was going to host an event where I had uh, Eddie and uh, a collection of our friends around my house. Every room would have been turned into a puzzle room, in which they uh, uh, and they would have they'd be split into two into teammates. Yeah. And one would play a video game that would. They have to get to a point where they need a code. To get the code, they wouldn't. It wouldn't be in the video game we've chosen. It would be uh, in in the puzzle room, and they'd have to solve it. So um, I got this because it came with uh, little crystals. Yeah. And these little crystals is what would you would find in the rooms, um, and to tell me that you had done it. So you'd have to give it to me. So I know you didn't cheat or anything. Um, which was great. Like the room we're in now, which my bedroom would have been turned into a very dark room full of candles with a TV screen. And when you came in into the room, you would turn the screen on, and the quiz master would appear oh, and ask you cool. three questions. Uh, and if you got them correctly, you would give the um, you would take the crystals uh, of how many you got right and give them to me and give me the answers as yeah. well when you left the room. Um, I remember the garden was going to be this thing where I would hide a. Um, I would hide the, the 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 numbered solution in a tin can, like a Pepsi can or something, and it would be dark because it, we would do it at yeah, the relatively yeah. late in the evening. And I would give you, I've still got it, a mind detecting kit. <laughs> I bought it, and you would have to go around and find it in in a oh, time limit awesome. and bring it back. So uh, we, we we will do this at some point yeah. in the future. So it's a, oh absolutely absolutely it was amazing. I had so many others. I even bought a, a codex like for like the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, yeah. that was going to be oh, in the bathroom. Cool. That was gonna, it's a really it's really ornate really cool looking one. That was going to be in the bathroom and you would have to. Um, I think it, I was going to tie it to the bottom of the bath mm. so you'd have to do it underwater. <laughs> uh, you'd have to get and to get the code you'd have to work out a puzzle that was written with lipstick on a mirror. Very and cool. it was reflected so you'd have to kind of work that it out that is pretty or, awesome I yeah. wouldn't be able to do that one because I can't swim so <laughs> you know standard so it says on the back here hello adventurers and welcome to the crystal maze where a labyrinth of perplexing puzzles and tricky challenges lie in wait for you and your friends and family teamwork is paramount as your voyage through the four theme time zones packed with a melody of medley <laughs> a melody doo -doo -doo -doo, of mental mystery skill and physical games success is rewarded in the shape of precious time crystals and the more crystals you win the more time you'll get to spend scrambling for gold tokens in the game's furious finale who will pit their wits against the mind-bending mental puzzles and who is plucky enough to tackle the fiendish physical trials let the games begin nice. very, very good dramatic it was well. very well written i have to say they have really put the effort into give that sense of mystery and you get a free uh, app with it uh, which comes with a timer that's really nice oh, that's quite handy, it. Actually. yeah I like that especially for someone who doesn't really have phones you know I well, quite yeah. like the application in board games um, so let's uh, let me just have a quick look at how this works so you've got these kind of tiles here with with I'm assuming these for the skill based stuff or some of the puzzle challenges yeah uh, there uh, and then we can take a look at the big board. I've never opened this before because I never had reason to take the crystals <laughs> out. This is crazy. Uh, well, you get a, there's a lot of stuff in this oh, box. Shit. Oh my goodness! It is a big <laughs> board. Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Uh, okay, so this is the. Oh dear! This is the screen. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even realise it was going to be this big. Uh, That's what she said. Ooh, uh, ooh. Uh. So there's all this here. This can't be the board. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's the I guess that's the finale, the bottom. Oh these are oh I see. So this okay. So this I know it's gonna be very difficult to see, but I thought it was gonna be a much much different much different thing. But it's actually very very simple. Um the time says aren't all that decorative. I'm a bit disappointed. Yeah. Like that's... you basically put the cards down here, I think, and they have the challenges on them. No, a bit like last. Yeah, I thought you'd have like little tokens, and you would go through the zones, and there'd be like really cool like graphics on it. Um, I should say that this was based off the remake of the series. Oh yeah, the reboot um, with Richard Iwadi. Yeah, uh, yeah, which it was a great host. Actually, Stephen Merchant hosted it originally for. Um, oh, he did. Didn't yeah, he? for for stand up to cancer, mm. and uh, then they thought, hey, this has gone down well, so they they did it, but only with celebrities, and it hasn't done well in ratings. No, um, I just put normal people. I suppose there's the level of celebrity they get on there. I think it got cancelled last anyway. year. Uh, I think it got cancelled last year. I was really disappointed that they 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 cancelled Robot Wars again. 
Uh, uh, so that is that was always the most amazing show. Uh, I love these. Think? I love wow. these. These are pretty good. I love I love these so much. There's a lot they in the manual. There is a lot. Look, look. <laughs> oh, look. They've Go got on. the hands. Like Richard Alawadi in the reboot, he wouldn't shake anyone's hands. He'd have them on a stick like this to shake people's hands with. Actually, no. We should. We missed the trip. Not doing the uh, welcome. Hello, I'm Soul, and I'm Eddie. Hello. Hey. Uh, let's let's shake, <laughs> shake hands, shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. Oi, oi. Oh, where's that coming? Oi, oi, oi. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's great. The dice whip. Ah, there's the crystals. There's the crystals. You can see that genuine bona fide crystals. Yeah, so Swarovski made them all. Maybe you can't. They're pretty solid. Feel them. They're quite heavy, actually. Surprisingly heavy. Oh. Um, here's the dice. It's green. So props for that. And. I rolled a one. Hey. And you rolled a six. six. So, so I get to go. I get to go first. Yes, so. and you are better than me. <laughs> um, we got. Oh, look at this! The immortal, the immortal. It will never die. Egg timer hourglass. Look at this. There you go. Watch the magic of the sands of time. Uh, there we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! There's cards. There's well, they, they're tiny little cards on the right hand side. Oh look at those! Oh look at that! Look, look how titchy they are! It's got a flower pot on it. Uh, oh, there's okay. the kids version. There yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, all catered for here. <laughs> Six. Oh, I love if you roll a one again. <laughs> there's even a pen. I love that. Look at this. Oh, a cube. Wonder what's Ooh. in it. I wonder, I wonder what it is. Wonder what it is. Uh, Only one way to find out. Yeah, it's a comb. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a. I can't. Open, I don't think it's going to be open. Oh, it is. Is this one of the challenges? Oh, it is. Uh, it's the uh, remote control for the television set. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of these puzzles where you've got to take the blocks out and put them in precisely oh, gosh, so they yeah. fit again. Um, very good. I like that. That's that's wonderful to see in one of these because that's actually. That's actually tricky to even remember the pattern in a 3D form. Yeah, so yeah. That could be highly replayable and troubling. Especially you've got to do it in a, to a timer. Balls. Balls, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Got blue balls there. Yeah, so uh, it's a great concept. I would love to play the game if I had more friends. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, a great, it's a great thing that maybe, you know, um, it, it, I would love to play board games more regularly like yeah. to get people around and to just go it's board game like this is the focus of the evening we're really going to sit down and enjoy it not just like oh what should we do should we play a board game literally go no yeah, we're going to play yeah. the crystal maze board game we're going to spend a whole evening we're going to have a fun time get, get drinks we're going to have a lot of fun we're going to shaky hands yeah, let's know. do it I'm down um, I'd, I'd, lo I'd love to do Ooh, that That'd be there's a board game awesome. cafe we can go to as well actually. I've heard about board games that's actually very cool yeah. there are many well thousands actually thousands of board games there I've only ever played one game there though because I only like Ticket to Ride. Ah, um, oh, Ticket to Ride, yeah, I've heard Ticket to Ride. But I will play You got that stuck there, didn't you? I did, it's got a, it's got it's a, got a sticker. sticky thing, yeah, I wonder what that's for. Yeah. Um, in case you need to climb out of a window. <laughs> I'm not a suction pad too, I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Um, no, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, Ticket to Ride. Um, that, they named a Red Dwarf episode after that, didn't they? They did. Yeah. Hmm. It's very easy to get caught up in chess and, scra chess and Scrabble though. Because they're like they're they they're most they're, they're easy board games to like. They're well, really replayable. I'm not saying that chess is easy, but the level of strategy with it changes every single game, yeah. you know. And um, and Scrabble's just fun because of making dirty words. There you go. So yeah. um, no, I love this. I love I love I don't like the board, but I love the attention to detail, the diversity in like there's puzzles on the cards, there's little wriggles and stuff like that. Um, I love it. Do you know what this would, this would make better? Do you remember the night in the nineties? There was a game called Atmosphere. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah I had, I had it. them. I had them free. The, the the creepy the grave guy. The gatekeeper. Yeah, yes, yeah. I am the gatekeeper. Yeah, yes. I bought that uh, actually at a fate in Aberford Hall. Oh you know, wow! Fun enough when I was in year. I don't know, year three? I got them from Carvix House around the same time. Oh, really? And I managed to get the second and third expansions with the zombie and the witch. Yeah. Um, oh, which really? were fantastic. They all came with videos and they all transformed into hideous fucking yeah, monstrosities. Yeah. It scared the shit out of me. Actually, anyone who's uh, been on the stream and has requested a frill or has seen a frill being uh, revealed, um, then that, that sound cue, everybody frill me! 
That's actually from uh, Atmosphere Two with the zombie. Really? Yeah, that is because uh, he would go uh, uh, when I when I call when I call your number um, and I say thrill me, you have to say. Uh, yo, Baron, I can dig it like that. And if you don't do it, then every, all the other players have to call you out, and you get punished. Brilliant, um, which is wonderful. Uh, but it would be amazing if they got Richard Iwadi or even Richard O'Brien. Oh my word! Yeah. To do a video for this, so that you had the timer of an episode. Actually, yeah, that's a, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Don't miss the trick in the nineties not doing that, especially as this was all the crazy board games. At yeah. The time. I had a Star Trek one. Oh, did you? Yeah, with Klingon, uh, the, the King, Klingon lead captain has held every, all the crew captive, and you've mm. got to go around and play his games and, oh, and, and defeat him. Oh, man, I Absolutely that. fantastic. I've probably got it up was, in the loft. If I can find it, it'd be amazing. It was the only one of the games. I just played a lot of Frustration, you know, and oh, yeah. Frustration was good fun. It was very easy to play. I remember having one called Skull and Crossbones, mm. um, and it was exactly the same, but it was a pirate, but it was really low rent. It was like one of these games that was trying to be like the Star yeah, Trek and yeah. the atmospheres, and it was it was hilarious and uh, did quite miss the mark, I think. Mm. Uh, but for a kid's game, it was pretty good. But yeah, like this, this game would be amazing. Uh, as I say, the board's lackluster, but I think the puzzles, the there's enough diversity here, and the show is fantastic. Yeah, you can really yeah. make a good evening of it, especially if you get like a a games master for this that would be good like, yeah to dress really up as, as Richard O'Brien or everything well, no I got go. the jacket there you go um, you've already put yourself forward for it so it's going to happen now <laughs> whether you like yeah, it or not absolutely yeah so I reckon we get a few people to do that yeah that'd as well. be awesome um, yes yeah, so I've got it I've got it just for the crystals but there you go Fantastic. came for the crystals stayed for the maze hell yeah the crystal maze um, you are now locked in the tap Forevermore. There you go. Unless I buy you out for Crystal, Eddie. Man, eight-year-old Eddie would have had a meltdown. Man, I was, that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> well, like, oh, you're there. Well, we'll see you later, and maybe you know. Good luck. Enjoy in, your new life. Good luck in the room because uh, I'm going straight to the dome. There you go. Oh bugger! Oh bugger! Indeed. It was a free. Do you know what's free, Eddie? What well, is free, so... Pe- well, except for the internet cost. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clicking the like and subscribe button. Um, hey. Oh, fucking hell, this is hard. This is hard, eh? <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. <laughs> Come on, I think we should give him a round of applause for the good Oy. show. Hey. <laughs> Oh, you're such a card, you are. You know, like, you're such a card. Some of these puns are amazing. <laughs> hey, I like that one. Oh dear, I can see, I can see the crystal clear like and subscribe buttons down below. <laughs> Just like holding these hands with my original arms, that was a bit of a reach. Hey, yeah. that just depends <laughs> on the, on. How good it was! I think now you're just crystalling for time. Oh, hey. I'm certainly not bored of it. 